सतनाम श्री वाहेगुरु साहिब जीओ सतनाम श्री वाहेगुरु साहिब जीओ बसंत हिंडोल घर दूजा महला चौथा इको अंकार सतगुरु प्रसाद काया नगर एक बालक बसया खिन पल थिर ना रहाई अनेक उपाव जतन कर थाके वारंबार परमाई काया नगर एक बालक बसया खिन पल थिर ना रहाई अनेक उपाव जतन कर थाके वारंबार परमाई मेरे ठाकुर बालक एकत घर आण सतगुर मिले ता पूरा पाईए भज राम नाम निशान रहाओ एहो मृतक मड़ा शरीर है सब जग जित राम नाम नहीं बसया राम नाम गुर उदक चुआया फिर हरिया हुआ रसया मैं निरखत निरखत शरीर सब खोजया एक गुरमुख चलत दिखाया बाहर खोज मोए सब साकत हर गुरमति कर पाया दीना दीन दयाल पए हैं जो कृष्ण बिदर घर आया मिलयो सुदामा पावनी तार सब किच आगे दालद पंज समाया राम नाम की पैज बडेरी मेरे ठाकुर आप रखाई जे सब साकत करै बखीली एक रत्ती तिल ना कटाई जन की उस्तत है राम नामा दह दिस सुबा पाई निंदक साकत खब ना सके तिल अपने कर लूकी लाई जन को जन मिल सुबा पावे गुण में गुण परगासा मेरे ठाकुर के जन प्रीतम प्यारे जो होवे दासन दासा आपे जल अपरंपर करता आपे मेल मिलावे नानक गुरमुख सहज मिलाए ज्यों जल जल समावे आपे जल अपरंपर करता आपे मेल मिलावे नानक गुरमुख सहज मिलाए ज्यों जल जल समावे वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा
ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹਿਊਮਨਲੀ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਆਫ ਥ੍ਰੀ ਟਾਈਪਸ ਕੌਨਸ਼ੀਅਸ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਸਬ ਕੌਨਸ਼ੀਅਸ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਅਨਕੌਨਸ਼ੀਅਸ ਮਾਈਂਡ when any act is repeatedly and continuously performed by human then that action keeps on happening firstly in conscious mind then in subconscious mind and lastly in unconscious mind the human mind acts appropriately on reaching that place in these three stages of mind when it is felt that mind or conscious without the naked eyes or it can also be said that mind is consistent after getting parted from external worldly materialistic attractions or greed then such concentration is extremely helpful for the path of worship lot many powers are hidden in the concentration of mind it is mentioned in history that someone emptied the river by filling two and a half handful of water changes the epochs created a new heaven in heaven and hell all these authorities were generated by concentration this illusion like world is as vast as god himself but till the time we unite with god the vicious circle of human soul does not end combination of several epochs constitute into a half day of brahma in these epochs as there is no high ambition and great motto created because of the lack of the holy preaching sorrows and miseries are faced in subsequent births confining from a drop we transverse towards the journey of ash in every action our reason remains the same and that is to achieve happiness and there shall be no happiness greater than that and no one can snatch it once achieved and it should be infinite which will never end up but till the time we do not know what and how it has to be done we keep on making that target into a perishable act due to ignorance as the king of entire earth king bharat was attracted towards a deer and turned into a deer in next birth and then turned into an idol brahmin bharat who was thrown out of his home in his third birth and that day raised by him in his falling birth was made into a king and considering brahmin bharat as prey man asked to lift his palanquin this all series of events happened as no imminent goal was set in the absence of holy company likewise we keep on doing action during the half day of brahma and when the eve of great dissolution arrives then the divine's half night remains as great dissolution only due to which for several thousand eras God keeps all human souls inside in the case of Brahma when the morning of Brahma the creator of universe occurs then it wakes up for the unveiling divine and arrives while seated inside every being it notes down his actions and accordingly gives results 
he makes the state of human soul outside as it was inside the god it gradually presents the world in the same way as it was prior to the catastrophe and nothing presents except the god when great dissolution occurs therefore saints sages and great personalities cannot help to achieve the eternal bliss till the time the human soul does not purifies its conscious according to them and considering the state of nations material or circumstance of the followers the saints and sages differentiates between knowledge and interpretation so that the curious seeker comprehends this teaching in a simplified manner but there is no difference in reaching to the principle attained objective because everyone's realization of truth is alike whether the methods or ways are different the illusion is eliminated from the enlightened soul due to the grace of spiritual master but it is not wiped out and the god cannot destroy this illusion even being its authority This world perishes in great disillusion and not the lifeless glamour and human soul This is why the tasks full of devotional love can lead to heaven or hell and knowledge without devotional love and yoga can lead to enlightenment of inner self whose stage extends till the world of brahma without attaining the absolute blissful conscious god the disciples reach till such kind or oh, elysium forever but this stage is not complete in itself though the human soul can survive in the true world of heaven after attaining four types of liberation however the great holy personalities can move there whenever they wish so they need not go anywhere in the liberation of detachment but to dwell and wander only within god few souls on coming to earth with the wish of god worship since they are enlightened already such souls arrive into the world as per the wish of god as his servant the curious seeker himself has to purify his conscience whether through devotional love or yoga meditation like digging the well of hamanda sahib a yogi under the ground was sitting in meditation he by seizing his breath on the tenth entrance and stopped mind without any decision or choice concentrated his mind completely later guru arjun dev by imparting life in him enlightened him by his holy preaching and i sight the greater the mind concentrates from worshiping without any decision or choice the more one becomes eligible of achieving god known to a behavior is only in sages and incarnated souls like once upon a time on the karva chauth fast in evening all the queens of krishna said that maharaj if we give fest to a brahmin on this day then it is considered to be very lucky and if spiritual master is given fest 
then it is equivalent to the fast of thousand Brahmins. For this reason, we wish to serve fast to our spiritual master. Therefore, kindly make some provision to cross the river. Sri Krishna said, Currently, no provision can be made, but you can ask the river that if I have not touched or seen any woman with the wrong intention, then give way else not. All queens started laughing on hearing, thinking how this is possible when Sri Krishna lives with us and even have children. However, when they said the same, that was, Sri Krishna asked them to say to the river, the river gave a way to cross and the queens were surprised by this. When they reached to Guru Dravasha Rishi, then keeping their respective plates in front of Rishi, requested him to accept the fest. He took a small bite and said that I have tasted the food. On hearing this, all the empresses urged to accept their feast as well. When Rishi Darbasha had the feast from all empresses, then the queen said that we do not have any provision to return. Lord Krishna made a provision while we came. Now we request you to make some provision. Then Guru Dravasha Rishi said that, Tell the river that if I have not eaten anything except thin grass throughout my life, then give way as not. All the queens on hearing this were again surprised that in front of us Guruji has had all the food, then how it is possible that he has not eaten anything except the thin grass. But they said whatever Rishi Darvasha asked them to say on approaching the river. Then the river gave them a way. The essence is that one who does not feel happiness in happiness and unhappiness in unhappiness and maintains a neutral state, his non-being state is to be considered as sentiment. The duties are of those who are doer. There are no duties of a non-doer. Any act of those Sages is created by themselves only for the sake of amusement. Whether they illuminate the whole world like Guru Nanak Dev Ji or fight like Guru Gobind Ji. The more we deceive the God or spiritual master, the more we get deceived by them. No relation works for others' happiness, neither it can do since that relation is newly made. However, the human soul is infinite and internal, and each human soul is striving to gain happiness only. All fake beloved, pretending as well wisher, strives to accumulate their happiness only. The true beloved and well-wisher is one and only a saint who has achieved abundant happiness everlastingly. Each human soul is searching for that happiness, but it is trying to find the real happiness behind its worldly relationships which is not there. Since the real motive of human soul is not to achieve worldly materialistic pleasure but to achieve bliss. The great personalities have already attained the bliss. This is why on attaining the bliss bond of actions has been cut off 
and finished off and they are not inspired towards attaining happiness and now any actions of theirs is not for their selves they even benefit the world by telling them the way to achieve bliss that is why each actions of an enlightened soul is for world or society as it is written in gurbani brahmagyani paryupakar umaha like it is written at the end in japji sahib changiya buraiya vacha dharm hadur a good or bad deed depends on its religious nature like the religious nature of ice is to be cold o to keep cold karmi apo apni ke neda ke dur whatever acts are done as per its intelligence or nature accordingly he attains the distance or closeness with god that is why it is said in gurbani jini naam te aaya gaye masakat kaal नानक ते मुख उजले केती छुट्टी नाल दोज हु एनचांटेड मेकिंग हाई डिवोशन ऑफ नेम फेथ हाई ऑब्जेक्टिव बिकेम लिबरेटेड एंड दे आल्सो हेल्प्ड अदर्स फ्यू पीपल से दैट कारण कारण गॉड इज वन एंड देयर इज नो सेकंड वन इट मींस दैट in the absence of divine power human soul is dead like the body is lifeless without the soul this is the reason that human soul is a component of the divine soul and any activity performed by it is carried out by the god's authority like the electricity remains the same whether utilized by taking cold current of air from fan or heat your room with the help of heater he surely gives power to perform an activity however karmi apo apni ke neda ke dur means that activities are carried out through with god's power but the direction is created by man's intelligence only ignorant says that the god is the doer and also responsible for doing of that deed however sacraments of bad character are formed by the man only like this one who keeps the soul alive and the deeds done with its power the way the man uses his intelligence likewise he gets departed o near to the god and if everything is being done by god himself then what is the need of sitting inside each individual and noting down his deeds and give results God sends us being the doer and he also comes then why not he eliminating miseries from everyone's life and dip them in sea of bliss till the time the curious seeker does not purify his conscience with the guru's grace any number of sages meeting the curious seeker cannot let him attain the bliss first on persisting the guru gives guidance and discourse to us following which he sports us in between and removes our doubts with his knowledge provided our mind intelligence and behavior is according to our guru and finally when the inner consciousness is purified then the guru only gives celestial love and bliss our effort is only till cleansing of inner consciousness and then the disciple shall not say anything 
and the guru do the whole thing automatically wah he guru ah he guru ah he guru wah he guru ah he guru ah he guru wahe guru wahe guru wahe guru wahe guru wahe guru wahe